Good morning, folks. Um, it is a beautiful Sunday, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of meal prep, doing some... It's actually... Technically, this is vegan today, um, kind of by accident, but uh, it's some chickpeas with kind of a uh, shawarma spice mix. Um, and some roasted veggies so gonna be all toasty and roasty and yummy um this is actually uh, a recipe from a cooking class that i signed up for on friday but basically um it was friday afternoon after a full day of work and like five hours of meetings and i basically was too tired to actually participate so i had all the ingredients but i didn't actually make it so i'm gonna make it now um I did watch the cooking class and it was pretty basic so like um, I know what to do and everything but I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, so I'm kind of getting prepped here. Just already started. Um, got some baking pans. We're foiling them up. Fold the corners down so they don't poke me. And I'm going to get my ingredients out as well. Oh, I will have to do that later. So these are the chickpeas. Um, I actually got a, um, I can't remember if it was half a cup or a quarter cup of them. Um, and they were dried, but I soaked them for, I wanna say it was 12 hours. And like I said, I didn't end up cooking them right away, so then I drained them to make sure they wouldn't like start sprouting or something, but they're looking pretty good in here. Got those. Um, got a sweet potato. I'm gonna start wash, washing the veggies now. We've got a nice sweet potato here. Sweet potato is great because it's a you know source of carbohydrate, but has a lot of uh, vitamins and stuff in it too. Best of both worlds. It's actually already pretty clean, but we'll just give it a good rub down. Ideally, if I had a little um, like scrub brush, I'd probably use that. We also need some uh, broccolini and kale. Got our kale here. This is actually a lot of kale. I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of this, but uh, we'll use a good amount. It wasn't on camera, but I just made a really good save. <laughs> One of the kale leaves was falling, and then I grabbed it before it could hit the floor. I mean, we're washing it anyway, so who really cares if it is the floor? But Back a little bit. My hands are wet, so I can't scooch very far. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Okay. 
Anyway, keep watching Cam. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> now you're not seeing just my arm. <laughs> Yeah. It tried to hightail it out of there. Yes, indeed, Super Vase, it did. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks again to this for the uh, sub to Nadabel yesterday, too. That was pretty cool. Doing fair, trying Hermit Ascension runs and Slay the Spire. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I thought I hadn't done a cooking stream in a while and I had all these ingredients for this cooking class and I was like, let me, let me just do this. <laughs> let me just do this. One thing that the cooking class told us afterward was that um, this recipe works better with uh, lacinato or dino kale. I got green curly kale. They didn't specify. And a bunch of people got like a bunch of different kinds of kale. It was like, you gotta, you gotta tell us these things. But fortunately, I do know from experience that uh, curly kale does still make good um, kale chips, which is essentially what it's going to be. They're going to be like borderline kale chips. After trying not to make every run just a dead eye combo deck. Yeah, what are the archetypes for uh, Hermit? Obviously, it's it has the dead eye mechanic, but probably curses. And then what's the third one? Do we need a Need a baby kale too. Okay. Um we'll set this aside over on the cutting board here. I think I'll save the rest of the kale for now. But we've also got broccolini. Broccolini. It's basically broccoli, but like smaller and thinner. A little more delicate. Ooh, this broccolini is actually flowering a little bit. You can see the little white buds here. We'll just trim those off. It's no big deal. Yeah, did you know that, uh, Broccoli is actually the flower of its plant. It is. two stalks in particular were like, here's our flowers. Um, oh yeah, the ones look good. And even if you cook, I mean, the flowers are edible, so. Doesn't really matter. Get rid of that. You say, um, dead eye combo, curse matter, and oops, all strikes. Oops, all strikes also has many cards that work with the fen too. Oh, okay. Can he get perfect strike or perfected strike rather? I think I saw it. It was like even perfecter strike or something like that. 
just go in all the way meme. I'm just gonna wash this broccolini. all tangled together. said uh perfecter strike was champ oh okay my mistake cannot he prefers multiple strikes to one big one you sometimes need to have a lot of faith playing hermit though as you make everyone vulnerable and then mulligan your hand jeez a tiny bit here. We got a lot of uh, broccoli flowers and water just kind of everywhere. been washed, which is most excellent. You're saying one card you're coming to appreciate is roulette, which unupgraded is two energy. Deal 18 to a random enemy, discard your hand, then draw the same number of cards. Ooh, that's, that's a thing. Um, okay, check out my list. So I've washed the vegetables. Next thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 425. So that's preheating now. Following that, we're going to make our spice mix. So, we're gonna get out our cumin. pepper, paprika, and cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon. My spices are actually alphabetized. You wouldn't know it, but they, they are. I just sometimes forget what I have. Uh, you'll see the word random for a fair bit on him. Yeah, he kind of seems like the RNG guy. Um, okay, so we need a tablespoon measure. We need a teaspoon measure. And 
unfortunately, I do not have a half teaspoon measure anymore. It accidentally got lost in the moon. I do have a quarter teaspoon, though. Which is right here. And... Just a nice little ceiling thing. Uh -huh. All right, so we want a tablespoon of cumin. This is a brand new cumin. I had to get a new one because I use cumin so much that uh, I ran out. It's not the first spice that I ran out of since I moved. The first one I ran out of was paprika, but uh, cumin was second. I'm gonna break my nail trying to open this. Alright. So it's a tablespoon. Um, one thing they said is that uh, she won't use it all today. Um, some of it will get used later. If I can get this off too, that'd be great. There we go. New plan. A tablespoon is three teaspoons. And I can get the teaspoon measure in here. We'll need to dig this out a little bit. All right, that should be a tablespoon. Then we do a teaspoon of salt. Got some nice iodized salt here. Teaspoon of turmeric. also missing the spoon a little bit, so we'll say that that's good. It's all a 
approximate. And then we put in uh, just a little bit of cayenne. I'm not even going to use the quarter teaspoon measure, I'm just going to sprinkle it in. That's probably about right. And then we'll do a couple of turns of black pepper as well. So this is the shawarma spice mix. Can give it a uh, little bit of a taste to see. Hmm. It's very smoky. It reminds me of um, you can definitely taste the, the cumin and the, um, oddly enough, the paprika. It needs a little bit more spice. Yep, there it is. Now it has that kick. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna clean up, because I did spill a little bit of spice, unfortunately. Put that back too. The cool thing is, because this is a sealable container, I'm not going to use all this. I can save it and then, you know, put it on a cut of meat or something in the future. They said we could use it for uh, basically anything. You know, said it's particularly good on chicken. Um, or if I wanted to make this again, it's ready made. Dark Legion Mage is saying hydrate while I'm in the middle of cooking, which is fine. Uh, just I get my bottle. There you have it. There you have it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put the spices away because I'm done with them now. Okay. So that is mixed. That is preheated. Um, I'm actually going to mix up the chickpeas now. Um, it says to use half a teaspoon of salt on the chickpeas. Um, so we're going to, I'm just gonna mix it in what we've already got. And then it says a tablespoon of the mix. that together. I only want, only want a teaspoon of the spice mix? That does not seem like a lot. Seems like a tiny bit more. There, that, that's, if you look, they're getting like pretty well coated now. Um, and then a little bit of the olive oil. And that wants a whole freaking tablespoon, which uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that much. We'll do one globe. Two 
you want it to have some fat so that it gets, it helps it to roast better. All right, and then we'll spread it all out on a baking sheet. I'm also gonna mix it together a little bit more because a lot of it ended up at the bottom there. You can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to spread it out somewhat evenly. So that way they have space and can roast. Clean the palate of the taste buds. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, we'll wash this off. And into the oven it goes. timer for that because it's all part of the next thing we're doing is the vegetables and we'll set a timer for those. So basically the chickpeas are going to be in for about 20 minutes. This is now sealed. Remove this and this. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut up the sweet potato. So we're going to move you back some more. We've got our sweet potato here. I'm going to cut it in half long ways. I actually should probably use a bigger knife for this, which is good because I have one. I'm going to use a big boy knife. Tip down first in order to let the sharpness of the blade do most of the work. And then rock it down. And there we have a halved sweet potato. Beautiful. I'm also going to use the little knife to just cut off some of the uh, eyes. We don't need that. Okay, yeah. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so next thing we do with these is we're going to put them, we're going to put them on the tray. We're going to oil, salt, and pepper them. So I'm gonna move this back over here. And they're going on the second tray here. Um, we're going to salt and pepper both sides and boil them. Probably boil them first. A lot more came out, so we're gonna just touch them together. And I'm gonna boil them both. Okay, they're oiled, salt, and pepper. We're going to put cut side down first. We're also going to salt and pepper this side. They recommend leaving the skin on, which I'm a huge fan of, because that's easier. Um, 
it has a lot of vitamins in the skin. Oh my lord. The tray came out and tried to attack me. We are going to put on a glove and push this mother back in. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. All right, so now that that's done, our next step is to cut up our broccolini friends. So we will once again move this back. down here but we're just gonna chop this up a little bit kind of into like bite-sized pieces Some leaves came up and hit me in the face. The uh, pans are bending a little bit under the heat. That's why the other one tried to come out and attack me. need these long broccolini leaves. They will uh, get too browned and burn. Basically we're cutting everything up because we want it to uh, try to cook at a similar rate. Ultimately, what we're going to do with these is um, we're going to put it on the same tray with these sweet potatoes. You said, uh, random note, you found the official T-Bone Relic Inspire. It's a hermit unlock. The first two times you use a potion in combat, gain a random potion. You can only use two potions per combat. <laughs> Dude, I, I still cannot believe that he beat heart on first try. Like, I was a little bit upset. <laughs> he just has like, I mean, obviously skill too, but just like amazing luck sometimes with games. Okay, we'll toss these leaves out. Um, did I get all of it or is there some more? There's a couple more pieces. Couple more pieces of broccoli. Do, 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 do. Um, and you start putting these somewhere though. I don't have enough space. I'm gonna put them in the same place where I mixed the chickpeas, cause why not? <laughs> They'll be spicy. <laughs> that way I just have some more room on my cutting board. more space.
Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know if he's going to be playing any more Slave Spire. Because he was like, wait, that's it? <laughs> and I was like, well, there's Ascension after that. He's like, but there aren't any more, like, secret bosses or anything. I was like, no. We might do some uh, Stardew Valley at some point. Because that you can't at least beat right away. You said, uh, I figured T-Bone might have gotten, been tired of us backseating. That probably too. Probably didn't help. How much time's left? Got a little five minutes left on the timer. Um, we're a little bit ahead of schedule. Gonna start ripping some kale up. This kale is gonna be the last thing that goes on. Yeah, basically the stems are pretty tough, so we generally just toss those. The, uh, the broccoli and kale are also going to get the oil, salt, pepper treatment, or as we like to call it, OSP, before they go into roast. I feel like this is a pretty good pile of killies. I'm glad we didn't do the entire bunch because this is already going to be a lot. <laughs> It'll cook down some, but still. Considering I'm probably going to be the only one eating this, it's a lot. My goal is to kind of have to not have to cook dinner this week because I'm going into a very busy week at work. Um, and it's gonna be extended hours and bull crap like that, so. Trying to do what I can to prepare ahead so that I can survive. Do, 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 do. going to be here in that timer in the next minute or so. So 
here is our lovely broccolini. And here is our kale mound. So it's going to be super spicy. It'll be a little bit spicy. I did put in the optional cayenne pepper because I like things a little bit spicy. Um, the overwhelming flavor, I did try the spice mix, and it's uh, smoky. So the timer's about to go off. We are going to add the broccolini. And we are going to drizzle some olive oil, salt, and pepper onto the broccolini as well. Just using one of the broccoli florets to paint them. Just get a little oil on every piece. And we'll do a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Okay, and then glove back on, very important. And we put it back in the oven. Oh wait, one more thing. Let's flip over the potatoes. We said that was a thing. So we're gonna take our tongs and we're going to flip these over. All right. Now we are going to put it back in the oven. Alexa, mm. set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes, starting now. Yeah, so um, I don't know how much you heard because I was kind of over there trying to raise my voice but um basically we flipped over the sweet potatoes we put the broccolini on that same tray put some oil salt and pepper on it and then put it back in the oven for eight minutes so now it's just the kale remaining Ideally, we want this to be salted and peppered too. Um, maybe a big plate will do. Ideally, you have like a big mixing bowl. We can do it in there, but you know, we make do. You can either use the tongs to mix it or like mix it with your hands. Ideally, you could toss it like in a big bowl, like I said, but this works. Okay, so after eight minutes, we're gonna put that onto the tray for like five minutes. Um, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dressing.
And I'm gonna make way less than it calls for because yeah, that's uh, kind of a lot. Oh, 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 I know what I can do. Now that this is made, I can actually relocate this. Because I'm like 90% sure I have an empty jar. I do. I need a funnel. I don't own a funnel. Dang it. Do I own a funnel? I'm pretty sure I don't. Which is unfortunate. Because a funnel would be great for this. We're just going to try and be careful. The human funnel of the hand. We're gonna lose a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so now the extra shawarma spice mix is in this jar. And we can use it for a future use. And that frees up this container for the dressing, because I only have one little container. Oh, the cooking that could be done. If I, uh, if I had more gadgets, like bowls and things. I need a little bit of soap. Try to get the odors out of there. Okay, so for the dressing, they want me to do a quarter cup of tahini, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and half of a lemon juice. Seems like a lot. I might do a little bit less. Here's tahini. Tahini is basically like sesame seed butter, more or less. We've got some 100% uh, pure maple syrup, actual maple syrup, not corn syrup flavored like maple. have one bad lemon, which I'm going to throw out, but the other lemon is good. Hooray. Also, these are done. And actually, what do I burn? So that was a lie that they need like 20 minutes. <laughs> I am glad that I smelled them. Because, uh, I'm actually going to have my headphones because that might set off the smoke alarm. If 
this actually looks cooked right now. So we're just going to put the kale on top, which will shelter it. It's not burned like the chickpeas are, but it looks cooked. I kind of got a glimpse of it as I got the chickpeas. I was like, wait a second. So the cooking time to bullshit is shorter. You always kind of have to adjust for what your own oven is doing. So the kale is going on top of the broccolini. Alexa, stop. Apparently it was close anyway. And we are definitely not doing 10 minutes. We're doing five. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Now that all that chaos is over, we're getting this lemon. And we're gonna juice the whole lemon because it's not very big. All right. I'm gonna open this tahini for the first time. See, it's nice sealed. serious about sealing it. it. Smells delicious. It's actually pourable too, which is great. I wonder if this needs to be mixed or shook at all. Yep, oil separation. So it does need to be mixed together. I'm just gonna get a spoon to mix it with. I'm getting sesame seed oil all over my hands. solid at the bottom up to mix it in with the oil. And quite frankly, I'm going to estimate. It's supposed to be a quarter cup. That's about right. It's a little bit less, but I wanted a little bit less. Um, about a little bit around the side. So we're just going to clean that up. And then we're going to put this in the fridge. said it wants a little bit of maple syrup. Just a little bit of sweetness. Mix that. And lemon juice.
I never super understood the juicer thing, except for people without a whole lot of hand strength. Because you just, you squeeze it manually, like. I think I am just gonna do half the lemon. And we'll save the other half for another purpose. Cause it's pretty juicy. And mix that together too. Alexa, stop. Alrighty. Wow, this actually thickened somehow. <laughs> I'm also going to add a little bit more sugar. Because I cheated under. much lemon juice or like what but that that is not supposed to look like that it is a uh, it's supposed to be like a liquid try adding a little more water I guess I can't make it worse more dressing like inconsistency try tasting it again that's a bit better actually okay it's no longer horrible it just needed a lot of water <laughs> It's still not my favorite, but now it's at least like edible. Some loud squeezing, just be glad it doesn't turn purple like an anime. Okay, and so then finally, we make a plate. You know, just some of it. So here, here's the plate. Oh my god. 
my god. So you've got, got your sweet potato there, some veggies, and then you put a little bit of the dressing on it, like drizzle that on there. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Yay! Um, it's not really meal time, but I'm gonna at least try the components, tell you how it is. Also, I'm very proud that we did not set off the smoke alarm. That was extremely close. Okay, first of all, chickpeas. The chickpeas are like crunchy, almost like a corn nut. The spicing is really yummy. The kale and broccoli are pretty much what you'd expect. I'm gonna try with the dressing. The dressing is better on than by itself, which is good. Try a little bit of sweet potato here too. Sweet potato's great. Yeah. Got a lot of yummy, interesting flavors in here. Best part of stream is the ASMR stream. Dying to champ, oh no. But yeah, so I'd say uh, overall this is pretty good. Um, don't definitely put a bunch of water in the tahini dressing and uh, don't eat it by itself. It's better on the thing. Broccolini is great too. So uh, yeah. So this is gonna be like two, three, four meals pretty easily. I do kind of wish I had made more chickpeas, but you know, maybe next time. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna clean up and put this stuff up, put it away, and then probably work on my magic deck some more. I've been making a magic deck, as you can see. Um, it's a Tristani commander deck and uh, trying to get a happily ever after win condition. It's a little challenging, but I like a challenge. So um, thank you everybody for tuning in today and please be sure to stay safe and have a good one.